that hard? No, not at all. You know, I have to stay focused. You know, it's a championship game. Uh, I want to win my third championship, and I'm really looking forward to it. You guys would be only the third uh, third conference team to win three in a row since the team became the Pac-8 in 1968. What would that mean for you guys? You joined USC and Washington. Uh, the elite company. It would mean a lot for us, you know, especially the seniors. Uh, those guys have won, you know, three. And, uh, well, me too. So, yeah. I'm in that boat. Uh, I think it would mean a lot for us. Uh, you know, we really work hard, and uh, that's our that's what we're aiming for right now. So, we come out here each and every day, and we try to compete. Disappointed not to see any of your linemen get first team or a second team all-conference? Did you notice that? Uh, you know, I really don't pay attention to that. You know, we just keep winning games, and that's the most important thing. What have you seen from the UCLA like, defense on the drums? Like, they're fast. You know, they're aggressive. Uh, they're going to come here and they're going to be ready to compete. Uh, we just got to uh, counter that. The fact that uh, they're painting the uh, end zone and everything, kind of making the stadium look different, you think it'd be kind of odd to go in there and see, like, man, it doesn't look like Austin Stadium. Uh, I'm sure it's going to look like Austin. You know, uh, it's our home field. Uh, we're going to be ambled up the planet no matter how it looks. Uh, mm -hmm. Still in Eugene. Michael, how are you feeling just overall about the running game right now? I feel good. Uh, I think the running game has really picked up, and uh, we really opened up some lanes for the receivers. Uh, you know, a lot of teams, they're going to load the box because the uh, running game is so good and just gives DeAnthony room and uh, Josh Huck and LT uh, and David Paulson room to catch some passes. When, when things are going good, obviously like they were on Saturday, um, is it harder to kind of uh, see the see the negatives in the – and maybe you know where, where the improvement is needed in the, in the run game? I don't know. You, you see the negatives. I mean, that's what we really focus on. Uh, we don't really focus on the positives. UCLA's defense, what are some of the challenges they pose for you guys? You know, they have really fast linebackers. They have a really athletic group. Uh, I don't think many people really realize that, but they're really athletic up front. Uh, backers in the secondary are really athletic. Uh, they have great speed. Uh, we just have to go downhill. Uh, it's going to be an incredible game. Do you think you'll see a different UCLA team that been playing on Saturday against USC? I think so. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think they lost their coach. They're going to come in here. They're going to be flying on all cylinders. And, uh, of course, they want to win the game. I mean, who wants to go out here and, and lose the game? They can win the championship here. So I expect them to come in here and fight. Sorry, Michael, but I should have played. Can you just tell me how you're feeling, how, how your arms are feeling? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, you can get it from her. Uh, <laughs> no, my arms are just fine, though. Uh, I kind of tweeted a little bit, but it's, it's no big deal. You said earlier you think Oregon's an elite program. Uh, do you feel like you've played a pretty central role in becoming an elite program? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think all 11, you know, the office of the ball have played a, a significant role in that. And uh, even the walk-ons and the scout team, I mean, everybody plays a role in it. What makes Darren a good quarterback uh, in this offense? He's tough. He's probably the toughest dude I've ever seen in my life. Uh, he's really smart, too. Uh, he makes all the right reads. Uh, uh, and blocking schemes, uh, he sets everybody. He puts everybody in place. I mean, he does so much that nobody really noticed that he does on the field. And I, I think he's one of the smartest guys on the team. Surprised he wasn't recognized in the all-conference team? Uh, you know, that stuff. I don't think it really matters to Darren. You know, it's a lot of politics that goes in there. Uh, Darren's a great quarterback. Are you surprised that any of the uh, offensive linemen didn't make first or second all-Pac-12 team? Uh, no, I mean, I, I really don't even look at that stuff. I didn't really pay attention to it, but uh, I know they do a great job blocking me and uh, Keon and the end. So uh, that's all I think that matters to, uh, to those guys.